Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's update here for Gala. We are trading at 0.06061. 24-hour volume, we were down 25%. Market cap, we are up 0.97%. So heading over to the chart here, I want to show you guys a little bit more of a long term what we're taking a look at for Gala. So when we take a look at the RSI, there is a hidden divergence, which is going to help in a bullish divergence. So I'm going to show you right here at this peak. At the very bottom, we see the spinning top or essentially, sorry, not a spinning top, more of a hammer candlestick at the very bottom here. And normally hammer candlesticks is a good bullish reversal pattern. What we see here on our RSI our line is at 13% at the very top here. And here is our hidden divergence at 5% at this peak. It is slightly good. It's going extremely up on a price and it's coming down on the RSI. And this is a continuation or a hidden divergence more for a bullish divergence. So price is going to continue to come up and hopefully retrace closer to the 6375. Now, if we quickly take a look at the MACD indicator, we are getting smaller in regards to the color of this bullish bullish um, trend that it's showing us. We can see that the signal line, orange line, and the uh, MACD line, the blue line, can potentially come in. But we had a lot of close calls as the price retraced closer to the 20 MA and continued to close above it. Right in here, we can see that it was looking like they were going to cross over, but they extended instead and giving us this really good high here. Going into immediate short term for four hours, I do want to show you guys um, our MACD indicator, the reaction it has in the four different time frames that we've got. So we can notice here, right here, crossover as we are coming out of this triangle. In my last video on Gala, there was going to be a breakout either on the uptrend or the downtrend. And what we are waiting for, if you follow that video and if you're following Gala, is to see if we're going to break through the trend line of the upper trend line or the bottom trend line. If we're going to break through the bottom trend line, we're going to have a huge reversal on Gala. But it looks like we broke through the uptrend broke through on the upside. And what we have really nicely here is we actually bounced back closer to the trend line and then found support. However, it wasn't a good bounce to continue up. What actually happened was prices consolidating sideways. Notice the Bollinger Bands. We have a squeeze right here as price reacted, created a lower or a higher low than the previous one finally broke out as price consolidated sideways. What we're going to expect here is price is going to continue to consolidate sideways. Take a look here where the price is. The Bollinger Band's reacting. It is pinching in. So it could signal the hidden divergence we saw on the day that it could possibly come out in a bullish way and finally break through 6214. So let's see the probability when we're taking a look at different time frames. So again, the histograms of our MACD, they're getting smaller in volume. They're getting really small in a bull side and a bear side. When we look at RSI, it's already considered to be overbought at 100% and 78%. Um, once they do cross over, it will signify that the trend itself is considered to be overbought and it is a sign of a selling action closer to the top of the Bollinger Band. We can see we're bouncing really nicely on the 20 MA. It's going into immediate short term or three hours, we can we can see consolidation occurring even more in this lower time frame. We can see this candlestick here retracing closer to 78% of our FIB. But again, notice the histograms. They're getting smaller. The reason why I say histograms are getting smaller is because the reaction of this, the market is condensing, the market is consolidating. After consolidation phase, there is a breakout. Um, so we see crossover here already initiated, considered to be overbought, closer to the top of the Bollinger Band price came down just slightly. If we quickly take a look at the two hour time frame and see the reaction here. We've already got considered to be overbought. We can see Bollinger Bands are squeezing in. Again, very, very small in our histograms or the bars. Again, here on a one hour time frame, very, very small. So I feel like Gala is going to have a breakout. It is just aiming, it's inching, it's ticking, whatever you want to call it, but it is going to break out. So how we measure it is Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. On the one hour time frame, we can see quickly here, considered to be oversold. Um, different time frames, there was already a crossover. However, in the three hour time frame here, we're already halfway through that marker. So the hidden divergence is hidden for a reason, is because we're going to see that breakout. Now let's take a look at our one day. Hidden divergence right here, 
to here in the second or in the next phase of our cycle, price is going to make its way back up to the 66.34. It is going to see, we're going to see how big the current is to finally break through this because if we come up, okay, you guys, this is long term. If we come up, come back down, come back up because our hidden divergence, and we get rejected coming back down. Here is the infamous M. Here is the double top chart pattern, which is a reversal, and we could be in rejection of going any lower. So let's monitor this for the next couple of days and see how fast we get this high hidden divergence and see the reaction around 66.34. So that's my video update for Gala. Thank you guys so much for watching and being very patient with me for my explanations. And I hope to see you next time.